Hey guys, this is Gina Moustakis of The Learning Edge with another SAT tip for you guys. Today's tidbit, 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 systems of equations. Now these are a type of math problem that you will very likely be faced with on test day. You have probably learned a very complicated technique for solving these kinds of problems. And no doubt, using that very complicated technique would assuredly make your math teacher proud on test day. However, 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 there is a problem. Using that technique could take up to two to three minutes or more. And it leaves you very vulnerable to making silly mistakes, adding, subtracting, or getting to distribute, etc. Today, I'm going to show you how to do these types of problems in 40 seconds or less. That's going to save you like one to two minutes. Whoa, baby. Now, let's take a look at a sample systems problem that you may see on the SAT. If 5x plus 7y equals 12 and 4x minus 3y equals 10, then what is the value of 9x plus 4y? This is torture in its most purest and evilest form, but here we go. This is how you've been taught to do this kind of problem in school. You've got to be kidding me. That was ridiculous. That was more tiring than a four-hour power shopping trip to Bloomingdale's. I have some good news, though. There is an easier way and faster way to solve these kinds of questions. If you use Gina's patented fail-safe system for systems on test day, you will have the last laugh. I guarantee it. If you find yourself on an SAT test saying, hey, this is a systems of equation problem, then try to remember the following. First, you want to stack the equations on top of each other. Next, try adding the two equations together. If that works, you are probably done. Subtract the two equations if adding did not work. If all else fails, then cry because you are going to have to do it the long way. Don't worry, the fourth step almost never happens on the SAT. Let's take a look at our sample problem again and try a shortcut approach. Stack the equations on top of each other and either add or subtract straight down. In this case, we are going to add the two equations. 5x plus 7y equals 12 plus 4x minus 3y equals 10 equals 9x plus 4y, which, hey, is what we are looking for, equals 22. Choice C. Simple as can be. Let's get real. I would estimate that about 95% of system of equations problems on the SAT can be solved using this technique. Let's try that again with another problem. If the numbers x and y differ by 12, so x minus y equals 12, and the sum of those two numbers is 48, so x plus y equals 48, what is the value of x? We're going to do a system of equations, stack them and add them. We get 2x, the y's cancel out, and we get 60. Divide by 2 on each side and we get that x equals 30. Choice C again. Seriously, it's almost criminal how much time we are saving here. At this point, you may be thinking, but wait, Gina, what if they throw three variables at me at one time? It cannot be that easy. I'm glad you asked, because actually, it kind of still is. Let's take a look at a three-variable systems of equation problem, and you'll see exactly what I mean. The technique is the same as shown before, but since there is an extra equation, you will have to stack the equations twice. Let me show you what I mean. You are going to want to attack this problem by stacking the first two equations and adding them together. Your final result will be 8x minus y plus 2z equals 21. You will then subtract the third and final equation. As you can see, x and z cancel out to leave you with 4y equals 12 and y equals 3. Choice B! Boom! Now on test day, if you are given two equations and two variables, or three equations and three variables, use Gina's patented fail-safe 
system for systems to save you time and speed your way through the problem. And just remember, stack, add, subtract, and cry. Hopefully you will not be doing that last one. I Thanks for watching today's tip bit tid bit tib dit tid bit on SAT systems problems. Tune in next week for another great SAT tip by yours truly, Gina Moustakis.